my one vibe and I'm gonna show you it today. Hello, my name is Rosie Sircone. If you're here just checking out the one vibe and how it's put together, that's great. I was recently just signed on as a one vibe discovery artist. Uh, so I am happily sponsored and endorsed by Marimba One. And I'm gonna put together my one vibe today and tell you some things that I like about it. We got three cases. This is the case for the bars. This is the resonators case, and it also holds main bottom bar of the frame. And this is the case for the frame, which is what we're gonna start with first. All right, here we go. So this is the main bag that I rolled everything in on. As you can see, everything on the frame comes out in one piece. There's very little you actually have to put together besides the pedal, which has its own pocket. Very, very handy. So now there's little Velcro straps on the bottom that I'm just going to undo to let the legs swivel out. Usually I set it up so that the base end is to the left of me instead of the right of me. Um, I was just feeling crazy this day, I guess. So uh, still works the same. So now we're over at the resonators bag and this is where the main support piece for the frame actually lives in its own special little pocket. Very, very handy again. And now as you can see, there is a small engraved B on this part and that is to show you which end goes to the base end. So you never have to guess and check. You always know what end goes where. And so now I'm just clicking that into place and it just secures with a bolt on each end at the bottom of the frame and then a bolt on each side near the top of the frame. As you can see from those little cut-ins, it's um, very big bolts, very easy to screw on. And now I just easily lift it up into place. And it really is as simple as that to get your frame set up. I've had vibraphones in the past where you have to deal with the damper bar and getting all that set up plus all the rails. So it is such a huge time saver to have all of that be in one unit. So uh, next, let's go ahead and put on the pedal, which is one of my favorite parts. So the pedal, as you can see, there is no metal rod connecting it to the damper bar. It is actually just a fabric strap, which means no more squeaky pedal, no more stripping of bolts. It is a really awesome design. Um, I was skeptical the first time I saw it, but it's really cool. So all you do is take off all of these bolts and washers, leave that bottom plastic washer on, and then put the them back on in the exact same order that they came off in, which is not hard to memorize, I promise. And then we just take the strap and you clip it in. There's three different spots you can clip into the pedal. You just choose which one feels the best to you. They feel a bit different in the way the pedal responds. But then when you find the one you like, you're good to go. And it is as easy as that. Next up, we got to put the resonators on. Uh, this is the resonator case. So here are the accidentals. And now let's find where the naturals are. Oh, just turn it over and it unzips on the other side. I love effectively using space in cases. And this is a very slick design that I have really liked. Putting the resonators on was the most difficult thing for me to figure out about this instrument the first time I put it together, just because you have to go from the bottom and then you kind of have to hold up the upper end and drop in the lower end and it's just kind of a tight fit. But once you do it a couple times, it's really not that hard. This is my first my first try putting this together um, and you know, so it's not that bad. I promise you get the hang of it. Now, Onto the bars, the most beautiful part of the instrument, because I have the gold matte bars. Have to take a moment to admire those, of course. So one thing that's really cool about this case is there's this little Velcro pouch at the end where you put the metal hooks that hold the string together so that it won't scratch the bar. Like that is just a little detail that I never would have thought of, but it is an awesome foresight. And now, we are going to set up the bars in speedy, obviously real time. That's obviously naturally how I move. And look at that, we got a vibraphone set up. So let's see how it sounds. In this moonlight, my fingertips have frostbite. In this moonlight, my fingertips have frostbite. 
So one thing I love about this vibraphone, which I didn't even know before I got it, was that it has this little knob on the low end of the vibraphone that adjusts the damper bar. And it is basically just raising it and lowering it a little bit so that if you are having troubles with the low end of your vibraphone ringing out or not getting enough resonance and it's too tight up against the bars, you can just shift that, which that's always been a problem in any vibraphone I've owned or just experienced playing. The other thing that I love is the wheels are so smooth on this vibraphone. They're so smooth, all four of them lock as well. A lot of times they only lock on two wheels. So I'm a big fan of that as well. It is height adjustable. So I am a short person. I am five foot one and a half inch. Um, so I mostly just keep it at the absolute shortest it can go, but this is height adjustable and makes it really easy to change, which is going to be so awesome when I have students or other people using this vibraphone that it can really be a vibraphone for anyone and not just for me. Lastly, I love that this frame is so light. As you saw earlier when I was setting it up, it was really easy for me to pick up by myself. Um, when it's in the bag, it's definitely a heavy pickup for sure. Um, like hefting it into my car, it's a little hard. Um, but there's really good handles on all of the cases. They all have tons of handles. And if you didn't see it in the beginning when I rolled the vibraphone in here, the main case has wheels on it. So you can stack all the other cases on top of it and then just drag it to your destination which has cut off so much time from my setup times. It is amazing. But you don't always have to look